Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the application Snap Heal. Snap Heal is $14.99 on the Mac App Store, normally $19.99, but it lets you fix imperfections on your photos easily with impressive results, according to them. And it's made by Mac Fun. That's Mac P H U N. If we go to their website, it gives a little overview. There's their little logo, and you can try it for free if you'd like to try it before committing to buying the app. It really is quite a nice app though, and I'll go ahead and take a look at it here with you. So we'll go ahead and open it up, or it is open. You can see here's an image that I've already corrected. I used it on the previous review I did. It's actually the picture of the Lumia 900 versus the iPhone 4S. If I undo what I've already corrected here, and we, you can see there's a couple different hedgerow clippings. This is actually taken on my front porch. It's all stone and on not really that nice, but looks pretty decent in this image. So I'll go ahead and remove those. So we have the erase button here. We have a couple options across the top. We have actual size, zoom out, zoom in, fit to screen. We can share it. We can save it, load a photo and import kind of typical things you expect. Now, as far as the application itself is concerned, here we have, we can select, deselect, pan, clear selection. We can do wormhole here, and this allows you to delete things basically on faces or skin tones. This is a little bit better for larger objects. And then we have Twister that helps with things like pictures or images that have uh, the sky in them, things like that. So here you can see we have a couple different trimmings. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Highlight, you can see it turns red here. Click erase, and that's all there is to it. and you can't really tell that it was there to begin with. We also have a little piece of grass or something right here. I actually left it in the original image, but we'll delete it here. And it's gone. Pretty impressive results very quickly. There are other applications that will do this, but mostly they're more expensive and whatever technology they're using is pretty impressive here. And I'll show you some more complex results in a moment. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other options. Here we have clone and stamp. So if you want to clone and stamp something that's similar that you don't have over here, maybe you want it all rock, you can do that. Here we can retouch things like saturation, saturation, lighten, contrast, erase, all sorts of different things. We can also adjust brightness, exposure, color temperature. We can crop and we can rotate. So we have our basic tools along with an erasing tool. Let's go ahead and take a look at something a little bit more advanced than a couple pieces of grass. Here we have a hose that's on my back patio and you want to remove this a little bit more carefully as it has a lot more work to do when it comes to removing this from this image. So what we'll do here is highlight carefully and highlight another area and then we'll remove it and then we'll come back and remove some more. And you want to take your time and it will take a little bit more time to do this. You can see the amount of time to actually remove it takes some time and it's showing some facts that kind of keep you busy if you want to sit by while it's doing that. So what I'll do is go ahead and speed this up a little bit to make this a little less time for you, but it took some time and you'll see me highlight everything and get rid of all of the image. As you can see, that did an amazing job. It actually took everything out of the image and you wouldn't even know the hose was there. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example so we can show you another tool that Snap Heal has to offer. Now that you've seen me remove the ladder from this image, and it did a pretty good job, but it didn't 
exactly correct it how we want. You can see there's some blur in here that just doesn't look right on these shingles. So let's go ahead and fix that. If we click on this tool here, the clone and stamp, we can clone something in here and replace it over here. We can change the diameter the same way. So I'm going to do that and maybe a little bit smaller than that. And we'll go one, one bigger maybe. I guess not. So we'll go a little bit smaller and we're going to clone what's right here so that we can put it over here. Uh, let's go ahead and clone here. And what we do is we just hold option and click. And now when I go over here, you can see the little crosshair shows up and I can highlight this area and kind of correct it here. So if I bring it back and forth now, it's not going to look perfect unless you spend a lot of time on it. But overall, I've, I was pretty impressed with some of the results. So you can see here, it's doing a pretty good job. We'll correct it. And we can do this all the way down. Just keep correcting. And overall, it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, you do have to be careful in some areas like this. I just changed it a little bit. And if I go over that, that white piece here from the fence, you're going to see a difference. But we can just keep going and correct it all the way through. And if we do it right, you won't be able to tell. And we'll correct it a little bit up here. So most people aren't going to notice. Unless they look really closely at your image. Obviously the shingle is not perfect right here. We can correct that a little bit. And if I take my time, you can see that this is going to turn out pretty good. And you're not really going to be able to tell if anyone didn't notice or, or know this area really well. You're not even going to be able to tell that the ladder was there. Up in the tree area, you don't even see it anymore. But in the shingles, it's something a little bit more complex. So you can see there's some imperfections in here that we could spend some more time on. And we can click over here and do the same thing. And kind of correct in here if we want to and spend a little more time. Uh, I'm not going to do that. You can see I'm messing it up. Uh, but overall, it's a great application for fixing photos. Pretty simple to use. And if you spend a little more time with it, you could get fantastic results, much better than what I'm doing here. Overall, Snap Heal is definitely a nice application. They offer a trial, so if you're even interested a little bit, try it out and see what you think. Overall, though, I definitely think you'll be happy with it. I know I am. I'm pretty impressed with how easy it is to use and uh, how well it does what it's advertised to do. So it's very focused on removing imperfections from your images. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and place those in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.